Okay, test, 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 test. All right, I think we're good. Uh, we are trying uh, this out with uh, the webcam today. Uh, give you something else to look at. Uh, and we're hopping right back into uh, Hearts of Iron here as, as Communist Czechoslovakia. We'll see, uh, we'll see what we can accomplish. Uh, game audio was way too loud last time, so I'm gonna Remember to turn that down right away this time. Oh, and I'll, uh, I'll set up uh, the chat quick here, too. Alright, so hopefully that's good. And I should be able to see any live comments as well. I believe. That is to be to be seen. Options, audio. Gonna slam that down. Hopefully that's better. All right, so I think we're in a good position here. Uh, we ended yesterday. Sorry, I'm, I'm tapping my mic here. Uh, we ended yesterday, almost, almost finishing up. You can see. Um, We failed at grabbing their capital early on, which is a bit of a problem because they still possess uh, a lot of their factories. You can see here still they have they have the majority of their factories, which is a problem. But we still have a surplus of infantry equipment. We still have a surplus of manpower. I think it'll be okay. I think what I'm going to do is is get my tanks up here. Maybe some of my uh, useless shock troops that I made by accident yesterday and uh, see if we can't see if we can't uh, take Budapest here I think that's gonna be the key is is getting Budapest obviously that's gonna be the key is taking Budapest um, and hopefully we'll we'll finish this war up uh, soon we uh, just to recap as well we did some uh, tricky uh, research branches here whatever whatever these are called um, to make it less likely that the uh, Germans can can unify with Austria they'd have to go to war instead for whatever reason um, this one failed I'm not sure why I think it, it says has at least 40% military strength concerned uh, compared to the German Reich I don't know if we're over that no, it says at least, so we're under that. Which is concerning. 119. And we're only at 34. Which is okay. Um, this is... It's going to be a defensive war, obviously. That we know. Um, and so once we take Hungary here, I think I think we should really just start going uh, full in on, on our defense strategy maybe 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 we we try to do something sneaky with Romania um, I'm not super confident about that but it would be nice to uh, to get Romania because because they have a lot of factories they have a relatively weak air force and I think their manpower is going to be the real kicker there, but but anyways, I'm 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 kind of jumping the gun, and I don't know if I want to get involved with with having port access because that could 
lead to a whole whole range of other issues. So we're just gonna we're gonna focus on finishing off Hungary now. Um, probably gonna stream for I don't know 45 minutes today. Not too long. Um, I have uh, people to meet in town later, so I probably won't won't stream as long as last time. But I definitely want to finish off Hungary. Stream till then. So let's let our soldiers move. Get our tanks in a position. Hopefully they'll have some better supplies up here. I think they will. Uh, same with these guys. Let them get into position. Um, and what are we? We're in 37 right now. We're doing pretty well, honestly. That's going well. Probably, probably research some of this, honestly. Start with ah uh, well. Start with this. Oh no, it's one of the other. It's one of the other. Army defense plus six, max entrenchment. Yeah, we're gonna need this. It's more important. Gotta focus ahead on Germany. All right. Once we start getting some positive political power, I'm gonna work on getting our stability back up. Once th once this war is over, our, our stability will begin to, to, be move, to, to move up, but... Until then. Doctrine's available. Air Doctrine. Land Doctrine. Let's, let's focus on that first. Um... Probably, yeah, or sorry, sorry. Mm. Yeah, we probably want to stick to Grand Battle Plan. We don't have enough manpower to do mass assault. That's best for, for Russia, really. Asymmetrical warfare. Maybe this is better. But I, I can't afford it right now. I think I might switch to, to Asymmetrical Warfare Doctrine. That might be... Might be best against Germany. Gonna check the chat here. All right, our tanks are resupplying. We've got good defense elsewhere. Switched, uh, not streaming platforms, but uh, streaming services, I guess you could say. Uh, I was using some other one, but I switched to OBS, and it seems to let my game run a bit smoother. And it also allows me to have a webcam, so I hope this is more enjoyable for people watching now and watching later. Ah, uh, see, there's the problem. We're over encumbered uh, here, not over encumbered, but don't have enough supplies to get everybody here. Let's start by switching that. I wonder if... Well, let's see. Let's see. Wait till all my tanks get into position. Attacking from planes onto planes. Yeah, maybe, let's see if this helps at all. Shift gun around. I don't think it will make a fundamental difference, but let's see. Okay, yeah, it did actually. Okay, so to try to get this done, I'm gonna set these all to aggressive. And I think we're almost ready to go. Yep, 
Yeah, it's too bad we couldn't get boot test right off the bat. But I think it'll be okay. There. All right. Let's see what we can accomplish here. So we're gonna throw everything we can at Budapest. See how it goes. Might get here. That would be that would be helpful. Let's get these guys. Okay, they're helping there. Let's get these guys to attack here. Maybe this guy too. Take some heat off so we can't reinforce. Yeah, yeah, we might we might be able to pull this off. I think. Oh yeah, let's check our planes. Yep, they're helping. They got close air support. On Budapest, that's the important one, obviously. Trying to keep everybody in place so they can't can't get reinforcements on Budapest. Let's get these guys back in here again. No, no reinforcement. It's gonna it's gonna uh, hit our manpower pretty bad. Yeah, and infantry equipment. I was just gonna say, but we're gonna get Budapest here. There it is. There it is. That's very very good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? We should keep this push going. Oh, we're getting attacked right now. Make sure that stops. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So, we're gonna take all states. And finish that off. Good. So, that was uh, not as difficult as I thought. We we did dip into... Oh, no. Well, that deficit was made up by, what we, by the arms we seized. So, that turned out quite all right. Um, I think I'm going to get my troops, oh look at that, we got a land list too, Poland, that's interesting, why would they help us out with that? Hmm. Thanks Poland, appreciate it. Uh, we'll just put these guys in Prague for now, and I don't know, I'm, I, I don't know, I don't know what to do with these, these troops honestly. But I guess we'll stick them here for now so they're not doing nothing. 
Um, and we'll probably want a bit more uh, garrisons. I'm going to use these as garrisons. Um, to help out with... Uh, sorry, area defense. To help out with Budapest. Oh, we'll just do victory points for now. Occupied territories... Sorry, sorry. No, I keep saying Budapest. I I'm meaning to say Hungary. Uh, probably just local police force for now. If it if it gets higher, we'll we'll change it up. Okay. So probably anti tank is going to be our focus for now because I want to equip all our frontline troops with anti tank. Um. Yeah, it's 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 worth to note in my practice playthrough. Oh look at that, we've generated the most real tension. Uh, in my uh, practice playthrough for this, I never I never got to the point of of German invasion. I I got to this point right here basically. I took out Hungary and then started prepping for for uh, the German invasion. But I feel like we've played our cards pretty well. If if uh, Germany has issues with Austria, um. We may be in a pretty good defensive position, especially now that we have we have Hungary down here. It gives us a lot more room to defend from if we lose this area here. Um, and we're definitely going to want to defend this border for sure, uh, in case in case they're they're able to get Austria sooner than later, which they will, which they will. But that was good. That wasn't too bad. Oh, we got a... Plans are done. I think we're just losing fuel still because our, our tanks are moving. Yeah. Alright, it's a funny looking shape right in the middle of Europe. Um, I don't, yeah, like I was saying this last episode, I don't think I want to deal with Yugoslavia, especially once we're at war with Italy, because then we're going to be fighting on a southern and northern front, and, and it's it's just going to be, it's going to be annoying. It, it's better to let Yugoslavia uh, take some of the heat down here. Um, maybe, maybe we can even get these guys communists and have them join commentary and get, uh, get Russia down there. Oh, you know what, we couldn't even... Well, maybe once Fran France is knocked out, if we can survive France. Oh, we're guaranteeing... <laughs> we're guaranteeing uh, Romanian <laughs> independence. That'd be awkward if we invaded. I don't, I don't know if I want to deal with that. I'm okay uh, being a landlocked country. It'd be nice to. It uh, would definitely be nice to um, have that oil, that oil and, and those factories. But uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to, to try to do that before before uh, Germany invades don't think that's going to be a good idea. Alright, so let's see what our production numbers are for anti-tank. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. Um, support anti-air, support artillery, support anti-tank. And bump this up to 20. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's what we're gonna do here. That brings my defense way up. Brings piercing way up. Heart attack. Hard attack, not heart. Uh, organization suffers a bit, but I don't know if it's better to do. Oh good. Okay. Uh, okay. The hold on a second. Provide uranium for the Soviets. Oh yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. That's 
That is solid. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if... What does this add? Motorized anti-tank is... 4 defense, 5 breakthrough, 4 soft attack, 20 hard attack. Fuel capacity, okay. Defense, 2, 2, hard attack, 2. Hmm. I think that'll be enough. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, and then that's gonna that's gonna tank our supplies. Oh, not that bad actually. Seventy. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's do. We'll do. What is this gonna do? Weekly war support. Daily political power gain. Uh, we do want promise of peace though. Oh, our stability is up again, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that stability, honestly. I don't think that's horrible. Sorry. Good. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with how this is going though. Um Do we have oh, okay. Okay. I wouldn't mind We can't even do that yet. Okay. I guess we'll start with getting rid of the fascists. Oh, we can ban fascism now, can we? Well, let's do that. And wait till we get 100. That'd be nice. And uh, we'll be able to join common turn shortly. All of the following. Establish people's militia. Okay. So we'll do that. Establish people's militia. Join common turn. That we can do. And then once we have that accomplished, we'll do some more industry stuff. Um, yeah, once, if we can survive, well, we will, s yeah, once we survive Poland being carved up, uh, hope we'll share a border with the Soviets, and we'll give them military access. That'll be huge. That'll, that'll be bigger than any defense we can do is, is getting the Soviets in here, to be honest. Um... But before then, all this stuff, improve highway, uh, I think there's some railway stuff we're going to have to do somewhere. Or infrastructure. Improve highway connections. I should actually, um, okay, here's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see what our infrastructure is like. We just have we have such a lousy uh, industrial base, this Czechoslovakia, that it, that construction's just so so slow. Um, are we actually short on trucks? No. We can stop doing this though. Here. Yeah, definitely down in Austria. We're gonna want uh, a supply hub. Is that too close? 
maybe. Wait, not that. Is that stupid? Right on the border with Austria? Actually, it's, it's Yugoslavia. I think that's okay. Yeah, well, actually, well, we'll be well supplied around, uh... Yeah, it's the dating crisis figures. It's about time. Uh, and then maybe... One there. We'll have this set up pretty well. Mmm, actually our northern border. Not that. I don't know, supply hubs, like, I'm, I'm not necessarily expecting all these to be built, but ideally that's where we would have supply hubs for defense. <laughs> Did I ever get... Yeah, we got war economy. Go on. Um, well, how many factories do we have? 15 and 21. How many of our factories are used for consumer goods? 12. That's crazy. That is not 12%. Or sorry, sorry, sorry. 12 factories is not 20% of 21. Am I nuts? That's how it works, right? Oh well. Seems weird. I don't know. Is it because of something here? Like, uh, recruitable population, daily political power. Factory output, no. I don't know. Get some radar going. That'll be good. Oh, there it is. Yep. That is a problem. Absolutely to be terrifying. We're next. We are next. already got three. Yeah, we really don't need another. At least two, though, all along here. We'll see. This might be a short playthrough. I never said it was going to be a successful playthrough. Read the title. Oh, well. We really gotta get, uh, you know what, you know what I'm gonna do. Is anybody using artillery? I don't think so. Do, do my tanks even have artillery? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop production of artillery and, um, switch it to, uh, anti-tank. Because we need, uh, a lot. Okay. Yeah, we don't even have we don't even have enough uh, soldiers to fill our front line. It's concerning. Well, I'll start training them up. Okay. 
we're gonna be super low on anti tank, but uh, that's gonna have to be the way. Oh, manpower's the issue. Yeah, ninety-eight. Okay, well, we're, well we can always uh, get rid of some of those later on. I just want to get them trained for now. We're gonna have a huge de yeah we're, we have a huge deficit of anti tank but and we're gonna have no planes oh that's another thing hey is anti air our construction's just so slow. insane. I just don't understand why 12 are used for consumer goods. From imports, can we stop our imports? Yeah. Stop that. Oh, perfect. Southern border, good. Okay. So I think we can actually, I just set up a bunch here. Yeah. That's good. We only have, we only have to build forts there then. Oh, look at their tanks already poised here. Hmm. Certainly intimidating. Oh, okay. Uh, ban fascism. Let's do it. There we go. There we go. Okay, and... Oh, man. Yeah, I'd really like... Soviet support... Before we uh, kick things off, but I, I don't know if... Uh, if it's in the cards. I don't know if it's in the cards. Not enough manpower to fill garrisons. Uh, how bad is it though? Oh, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Okay. Um, I guess we'll uh get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, what we want is military police, but we don't have them yet, so. Train up six more of those. And and we'll just deploy those as soon as we can. Oh man. Tension at 50. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think that they'll be able to, unless they have military access from Poland, which I, I highly doubt. Um, maybe if Romania joins the Allies, they can move through there. But otherwise, we might be dealing without Russian help until Poland gets taken. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Cause I want this. I want I want defense more than, or or the asymmetrical warfare doctrine more than the grand battle plan doctrine. But it 
costs a lot to switch. Oh, hey, we haven't produced the most world tension anymore. Ah, uh, look at that. We're a distant third. Actually, maybe not. Second, I guess. What's the war over here going? Okay. What are the ongoing wars? Spanish Civil War? Oh, the uh, Republicans are actually actually doing okay. No German volunteers. <laughs> Maintenance company. Okay, I'll get some military police. Okay, we're into 38. I should actually start uh, investing in industry again. Can I deploy more of these guys yet? No. This, yeah, like literally the second they can be deployed, I'm just gonna throw them into garrisons. They don't. They don't need to be trained. I have a pretty big anti-tank deficit. But we have, uh, yeah, we're only at 50% of the cap. So that'll go up. I, I hope this is this is the right model for uh, for these guys. I think I think the big thing is is going to be stalling their tanks and uh, anti tanks. Definitely going to help with that. So that's my thinking. And uh, yeah, I guess I guess the plan is hold out till uh, 41 when the, the Soviets start pushing back, and we'll push up from the south if we can, or sooner if we're if we're able. But that is to be seen. Yeah, it's just it's just hopeless. A lot of this. Hmm. Oh well. We'll see when German sends the ultimatum. Okay, try to negotiate a deal with their agents. Yes, please. The Soviets are not interested in our uranium. Okay, but we got oil for some reason, so I'm okay with that. I am okay with that, and then we'll do this, and then we join the common turn. Two civilians. Oh, this is this is good actually. We really need this. Should have done this a lot sooner. Oh, look at our oil go up. Look at that. Daily gains six thirty four now. That's huge. That is huge. Uh, I'll probably end the stream in about. Five minutes or so. It was just a short one today. Uh, I just really all I wanted to do was finish off Budapest. Hungry. Um, yeah, but we're in 38 already, so probably next episode we'll be dealing with getting proper defenses set up for for Germany. Uh, get those forts built in, uh, along off the Austrian border here, and we'll definitely want some anti-tank around. Uh, around our cities but we did disperse to industry so hopefully it's not that big of a deal I think probably what I'll do is just have whatever planes I have left on uh, home defense interception um, and basically use them till, till they're all gone which which won't be very long we can hopefully rely on uh, lend lease stuff um, once we're on the same side as the allies. But we'll be alone for a little while. Yeah. 
be alone for a little while. Anything else we can do before we wrap up here quick? Captain of Industry. Don't know the political power. Yeah, we'll have that going next time. This ups construction speed, but you don't want that. 50% of resources to market at war exports. Hmm. We should probably do that sooner than later. Like, I mean, it, it drops our construction speed and our research speed. But then we can get rid of some of our uh, trade stuff. Do we have any other trade going on? Yeah, the Soviets. We need that, though. Can't get rid of that yet. Can't get rid of that yet. It's alright. Why are... Oh, I see. <laughs> Some random land forts around here. I bet you can't relocate those. Because that's our southern border, technically. I guess that was that was part of the construction program. Oh. Okay, and then I'm gonna move these up here. Those supply hubs aren't aren't a necessity. I'm I'm more worried about these forts. And anti here. Oh, that's what I can do quick. Is lay out some anti here. Oh, we have some good anti here there actually. Maybe do one more there. Do we have an option for more anti-air? Um, doesn't look like it. This is our aviation focus here. Oh, that's nice. What is this? Why have I not done this yet? New decision available gets event origins of French military mission and check gains French check with an alliance with France. That'd be huge. Oh, okay. Um, we can't do both, though, I'm assuming. Hmm. I might uh, do a save file and uh, test these out on my own and see uh, which one's more worthwhile. We'll see. Anyways, um, probably going to wrap it up there. I think uh, that was good, though. Got got more more done than I was hoping. I honestly thought it would take 45 minutes at least to finish off. Hungry there. So I was pleasantly surprised. Just save the game here. Alright. Well, that's as good as I can make it. Uh, I hope... You guys have enjoyed the stream thus far. Uh, not that anybody's necessarily watching. Um, but if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, thank you. Uh, I am going to be try to stream. Uh, I'm going to try streaming more often. Um, so if you enjoy this type of stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, yeah.
thank you if you've been following this in the future. And uh, we 